Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And our topic today is Seek the Lost Sheep. Where is it written in the Bible? In Matthew, let me have a look. In Matthew 18 verse 12, God commanded us to seek the lost sheep. And he has commanded us to go forth into the nation. And that we do at Triple Grace. We are now in our mission to Cambodia, where we will help the children, the meek, the suffering. We had a case with the orphanage of God who, uh, that got an eviction notice, and we helped so that they now can continue and uh, serve the small children. We had children who were naked, and clothes will be given to them and we have a program for education. We go into the nation and we seek the lost sheep. And you, I know, you are doing the same. You are supporting projects in a similar way. But we all need to come together to share our resources, to have a greater impact. Because now we are spreading everything all over the place, but we should come and into unity. You should establish a dwelling place of Zion in your neighborhood, in your house, and then gather resources together and then go forth into your neighborhood and help the needy around you, around your places. You will have a great impact in your neighborhood already. Yes, it is good to, to support the missions. And of course, we are very happy of for every donation that we receive because alone we cannot make it. And we are so grateful for all the brothers and sisters that are helping us. Also, some of them have no idea what we are truly doing. But here in Cambodia, we are looking for all the people who suffer. There are people on the street, street children who run around naked. We had the case of baby Grace who could not get an operation because parents were so poor had no money. We helped there and you helped us too. And we had the case of the orphanage as I already said before. And we have cases where schools need equipment. And we also have our own case for the first dwelling place of Zion in Cambodia where we still need funds for equipment and for Bibles and all this. We ourselves can only do so much because all of course for a few people, the resources are limited. But if we all come together and help, we can have a great impact. And we will spread with everything what we do there. We spread the gospel of the kingdom. And we win souls. And we talk about Jesus. And we talk about the Father. And we talk about the Holy Spirit that he will come to the people. And we save them in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know that you have already thought about it to sow into our ministry and to help, but this should not be the topic today. Today the topic is that we, all of us, no matter where we are, so should seek the lost sheep. And especially the children and the vulnerable people who cannot help themselves. This is our calling and our destiny to win souls. And how do we do that? By showing forth an example of love and righteousness to the people. By coming together in love, unity and support. By showing them what the love of the Father is doing in our lives. So that they also come and say, can we join you? And then of course we open our arms and embrace them in brotherly love. And all of them will join our dwelling places. And if we have more than 50 people in one dwelling place, then we establish the next one. Does it matter if in your area there are 10 or 20 dwelling places of Zion? Because then you can see the face is growing and, and many, many, many people are coming to the righteous path, to the righteous way. And you will bring many people to righteousness, as it is written in Daniel 12, 3. Do not forget that we are all called forth, as in Luke 10, to be the harvest workers. The Lord is sending us into the places where he will come at his second coming, so that we can prepare the way for him, that we can 
explain what he has done for us on the cross and with the resurrection, but not only that. Many people only fixate the ministry of Jesus to the cross. No, it is a whole ministry. Everything what he was teaching us about love, about coming together, about supporting one another. What actually the first Christian really understood because they had communities that share resources that came together for love meals that met every day and that spread the news into their neighborhoods. This is what has gone away from our churches because now we have Sunday church service, but this is not the same as it was in the book of Acts, for example, in Acts 2. So we have to get that seal back and build these places again that they had in the book of Acts and come together in love, unity and support and seek the lost sheep. So please join us, help us on the path, come together, pool your resources and let us show the world that we are the two sons and daughters of the Most High, that we are the ensign and the banner that the Lord is establishing when the dark flood is coming into this world. And very soon the first seal will be opened and we will be part of the great harvest and we will bring many people into the barn of the Lord. So join us, be a subscriber of Triple Grace at our YouTube channel and be a subscriber at our website triple-grace.com and help us by sowing into the ministry so that we can spread the message and that we can establish the dwelling places of Zion in all the nations. There are people who need some assistance because it's in a poor country, in Africa. They cannot just establish them by themselves, but they need our help to bring it forth. So you are called to be not only a harvest worker, but you can also be an elder. You can be a state or a national leader for this great Exodus movement in your country. But start by establishing your own dwelling place of Zion in your house or in your neighborhood, in any meeting place, and meet with the assembly of Zion, the people that you call into that dwelling place every day. Empower them and send them forth into the neighborhoods to gather in the harvest of the ages for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and for our beloved Father, Yahuwah, Lord Adonai. Jehovah Jireh. Blessed be God, blessed be our Father, and blessed be Jesus Christ. For all this I plead the blood of Jesus over it, and pray in his name. Amen and Amen. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today, and I hope that you will come again tomorrow. Please become a harvester and seek the lost sheep. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.